And if that didn't make you hungry enough, our friend Brenda with Market Street is out with her husband as they are grilling to show us how they do things. Check it out. Hi everyone, I'm Brenda Garcia, the registered dietitian with United and Market Streets. And today we're gonna to talk about grilling, which is great and I know temperatures and I don't always know all about techniques. So sometimes I check with some of the expert grillers and I have one of the experts who is also from Market Street. He's one of our store directors. This is actually my husband. Noel Garcia, and I will say these guys know a lot about grilling. So I grabbed him when I knew I was gonna do this segment, and I'm gonna ask him some questions to help us all learn about it. So first, the dietitian in me, you know this, I always want veggies. Yes. There. So yes. what do we do to make those veggies so delicious? Okay, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our peppers here, spray them down just a little bit with some olive oil, and we're gonna put them over a hot grill. I've got this at about 600 degrees. I want these to start charring. Once they start charring, I'm gonna throw those onions on top of that. And then after I get the onions top a little bit of seasoning, we're done. Okay. Just... All right, and some of my favorite flavors come from grilled veggies. It's a great way to get people to eat veggies. But I don't stop there. I go to the fruit. So I like things like grilled peaches, maybe a little mascarpone cheese or ice cream. Mm -hmm. I'll even have them grill some watermelon. Mm -hmm. You lightly grill that. So what else are you looking for on there? So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm not gonna season this at all. I just want the sugars to come out when it caramelized. What I'm gonna do is actually turn them upside down. That's okay. what I'd like to do. Do we need so, to oil them at all? No, I okay. will not oil these at all. Okay, so just a little. Just a little bit there. I've already oiled the grill, so it's just uh, gonna okay. stay. Okay. It won't stick at all. And hot grill is the key. Hot grill is the key. Okay. So now let's get to the part that probably all of you want to really talk about, and that is the proteins. So we're going to start, we've already got some chicken going and some uh, burger patties and some shrimp. So let's start with the chicken. Okay. That's my favorite, but sometimes that one, you know, I, I sometimes I'm not allowed to always grill those because I kind of make allowed. cardboard out of them. He is great at it. So I'm going to let him tell you his tips. So I just take a chicken breast, I butterfly it, uh, olive oil, have to put the olive oil on it and just put your uh, garlic salt or anything, any seasoning you want. You're gonna put it on there. You're gonna get a good sear on it. Your burger, that turned out just fine. There's plenty of fat in that. Okay, so I so. think the trick here is that the chicken breasts are so lean, they probably need to marinate with a little bit of olive oil yes. or something along those lines. Something that's gonna take high temperature. Correct, high temperature. Okay. And so I'll, I'll, avocado oil is really good, uh, but I just do, I love olive oil. Okay. And then the shrimp, and the I know we've seasoned it ahead of time a little right. bit. So we you've seasoned it, we have it already in a little baggie, mm -hmm. and he put some bay seasoning, some old bay seasoning, and he shook it, shook it up in there, made the skewers. Don't forget to soak your skewers ahead of time. Those wooden skewers need to soak for about an hour? About an hour, at least an okay. hour, yes. And then um, we got the pineapple. We got some fresh cut pineapple from the store. We took it out about an hour ahead. About an hour time. ahead. Went to and low, to uh, we've temperature. got the skewers already ready to go. So that caramelizing on the pineapple mm -hmm. and a little bit of seasoning is going to give us a great product. One more thing, temperature, shrimp. Shrimp is 145. Get that to that. Your burger is going to be 155. They suggest 160. Chicken, 165. All right. So don't blow away this weekend, <laughs> but enjoy some yummy grilling. Y'all have a great memorial.